Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so um, first, as always, thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You're amazing. I love you. Um, and so, Christ is the shield, the way, the light, and the truth. Follow him. Um, okay. And second is, I have an interesting video for you here. Uh, we did finding DYDX on functions that are like this, which is functions that are implicitly defined. We found DYDX by doing implicit differentiation, which is a technique we learned in Calc 1, right? However, now that we have knowledge of multivariable calculus, specifically partial derivatives, it turns out that the DYDX that we found by doing implicit differentiation on here is the same thing as DYDX is equal to, it's equal to, well, Hmm. If I tell it to you now, what incentive do you have to keep watching this video? Not a lot. So I'll tell you what dydx is going to equal in terms of partial derivatives towards the end. Ha <laughs> ha. See? All right. <laughs> okay. So, um, well, to start, so we can check our answer using the calc 3 or multivariable calculus method. So we can check our answer. Let's do this the good old way that we know how to do it. Well, fine. So we recognize product rule here. But let's do it quickly. So we're going to say 2x and then times y cubed uh, plus x squared and then times the derivative of y cubed, which is 3y squared. And of course, we know to multiply by dy dx here, right? Okay, uh, 3y squared right here. And we multiply by dy dx. Got it. Plus the derivative of um, sine y is going to be cosine y. But then, by chain rule, we have to multiply by the derivative of y, which is 1, but then dy dx, right? And of course, we take the derivative on both sides, so we go equals the derivative of 9 is 0, right? Okay, cool. Then, we collect dy dx terms and factor out a dy dx and do algebra, right? So again, I have many videos, in fact, a playlist on... Uh, doing implicit differentiation in Calc 1, so check that out. I'm not gonna, you know, go through the details here, but it's pretty clear that dy dx is going to equal, uh, in this case, it's going to equal negative 2xy cubed all over, and then it's gonna be uh, 3x squared y squared plus cosine of y, right? This is what dy dx is going to be. Got it, got it. So how do we do this using partial derivatives? I don't like this line. It's slanted, it's crooked. So there, I feel much better. My day is going to be much better now. Okay, so, um, well, how do we do this using multivariable calculus? I suppose it is here where I should change markers. All right, fine. So first thing we should do, actually, I like the black marker. I like writing in black a lot more than any other color. Anyway, um, Let's first define this as a function of xy by doing this, which is calling f of xy is equal to um, x squared y cubed plus um, sine of y minus 9. So in practice, what you do is get everything to one side on your implicitly defined um, curve and then call it f of x comma y. So now it is a multivariable function function of two variables, x and y. So we know what the partial with respect to x is like. I have a video series on partial derivatives uh, from the beginning, which is explaining where they come from and all that good stuff, so check that out. But yeah, um, we do the partial with respect to x of this. Fine, remember, when we're doing the partial with respect to x, anything that is not an x is treated as a constant, including y, stuff that has to do with y. So I'm saying y cubed is a constant. So the derivative with respect to x of this is going to be 2xy cubed plus this whole thing is a constant sine of y so its derivative is 0 plus 0 minus derivative of 9 is 0 okay all right unless you're like going for something like this doesn't yeah okay never mind i'm gonna get rid of this too playful too playful okay cool cool hmm 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 look here and look there. And look here. And look there. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's go on with Fy. So, the partial with respect to y, well, this time we treat anything that has an x as a constant. So, x squared is a constant. So, we go 3x squared y squared plus 
well, this is a function of y, and we're doing the partial with respect to y, so we have to take the derivative of this, right? And that's going to be cosine of y. And of course, minus 0, the derivative of negative 9 is 0, or minus the derivative of 9 is 0. Okay, in short, we've done partial derivatives. This is what fy's got to be. Oh, wait, but wait, oh, wait, but wait. Do you see these and these? Are identical and this and this are identical so what's our formula for doing implicit differentiation the good old implicit differentiation because there's such a thing as implicit differentiation for multivariable functions but the good old calc one implicit differentiation is akin to using partial derivatives writing the dy dx the derivative found implicitly here is negative partial with respect to x divided by partial with respect to y. And this formula will always work. It didn't just work in this example, it will always work. And just we done. I'm done. In case you needed a translation.